There is this stereotype amongst us that, oh, my mom owns a silk sari, so this is old school. Uh, my mom made me wear a silk lingo when I was little, so I don't ever want to wear it again. But there's nothing wrong with silk. Half the outfits in the store are silk. Silk's a great fabric. It breeds really well, especially for a summer wedding. It's great. It's considered the finest textile of Indian culture. Hi, my name is Aneri Patel. I'm the bride, and I'm from Monroe Township, New Jersey. My name is Shunaketh. I am the groom. Um, I currently live in Jersey City. We both met in high school through a lot of mutual friends, and our relationship began freshman year of college, which is when we started dating. For her, it was later in the story, but for me, it was actually quite early on. It was in freshman year of college, we were coming back from a fat party, and it was late night, it was dark, and she just held my hand and as we were walking back to the bus stop, and that's when I was like, she's, she's the one. Today we're here for Aneri's engagement outfit, um, and also for my Shervani. My wedding langa is already customized through Nazrana, so today I came to look for my engagement outfit. Hi, I'm Sahithya. I'm from Monroe, New Jersey, and I work in IT, and I'm the groom's sister. My name is Kindrel. I am Aneri, the bride's um, sister-in-law. My name is Sneha. I'm friends with both the bride and groom, Shrini Keith and Aneri. For Aneri's engagement, I think we want to do a little bit more traditional as the wedding is already um, modern. Whereas Srinika, the groom, who has his own sense of fashion, so I'm not sure I'm going to be surprised for what he picks. I have somewhat of an idea of what they're going to pick up today. Um, I do know that it's going to be vivid and colorful, um, and I'm really hoping to see a visual representation of who they are as, as a couple. Welcome back, Aneri. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you for having us. So tell me, what can I help you guys find today? We fell in love with the wedding outfit. So today we're here to look for the engagement ceremony outfit. So did you have anything specific in mind for your engagement look? I definitely am debating between the pink or the ivory tones. Okay. And I'm looking for a more traditional approach because the wedding outfit, as you know, is a more non-traditional. Sorry. I, I think what, you know, what I would like to see too is I think something more modern. Um, this is actually the, the outfit that we're looking for is actually gonna be the second outfit that we wear for the puja. And we are doing a bit more on the traditional side for the first half, so. I'll see, I'll see with the options and what we have. Um, but I know our engagement ceremony is a bit more traditional. So in the second half, I definitely wanna incorporate a mix of like Gujarati and Telugu elements. Yeah, I, I don't think it hurts to uh, explore, explore the options. Yeah, I agree with you. What do you guys think? I think I want, would want to keep the traditional route because the puja is like combining both of our cultures. So I think keeping like with the silk theme would be nice for both outfits. Silk necessarily doesn't mean traditional, right? Her wedding outfit silk, but it's still very modern. I think I need to. I think I need to see it in person. It, you know, I, we should we should definitely have you try on something modern. You know, it doesn't hurt. We're here. And then, and then kind of go from there. Let's see, let's see what we have in store. <laughs> so I'm gonna head in the back, pick a few options that I think will work beautifully. And in the meantime, feel free to look around the store. Thank you. So in area, the first Langa that I picked, it's a beautiful ivory and it has these beautiful pink, red and green Resham Kodai in the flowers. What do you think of this one? This dress is definitely beautiful. Um, but it has a lot of the floral elements, which is also going to be in my wedding dress. So I'm looking for something a little bit more different. What do you guys think? Yeah, this is getting there. You know, this is definitely a modern that I was looking for. But, you know, going back to this element of fabric, this is silk. And, you know, I think we're looking more for something that I've noticed is a net tool. You know, that's definitely more fashion forward, something unique. So maybe we could try to see how to incorporate those in, in, in a style that's along those, those lines. I will definitely say, I mean, silk can look beautiful in like modern designs, so I wouldn't rule it out so so quickly, but I, my biggest concern is that traditionally we wear white at funerals, right, and it's something that's always seen as a 
little bit of a superstition. But it's not white, it's ivory. And it has all this gold and all these, you know, beautiful colors in it. Yeah, I agree. I like the um, style, the material, but the color, I don't think it's what she's looking for. Okay, we'll pass on that one. Mega will bring out the next one. So Neri, the reason I picked this lenga is it's very different from your wedding outfit. It has these beautiful linear lines. It has the floral element within it, but I still think it's very different from what we've already designed. So for my engagement outfit, I'm glad we saw the second option as ivory, but now I'm thinking um, the blush color might be a better option for me. I understand this is a more structured pattern and there's a lot of the floral elements, mm -hmm. but once again, I don't want it to mimic my wedding outfit. So Shinikit, what do you think of this lenga? I think it goes back to the initial point that I was talking about is the fabric. If you know, for decades and decades, we've had silk. Um, so I, I'm trying to change something different. You know, but I think, silk I is think, classic. Yeah. Yeah, but and it's elegant. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you know, we're in the 21st century. We got to We got to oh try something God. different. Yeah, Maybe come on. Out to get the silk. <laughs> but come there's on. also a reason why silk has been you know, has been used for decades, right? Yeah. It's, to me, there's nothing more beautiful than wearing a silk langa to a puja ceremony. I agree. Mm -hmm. And aren't yeah. you wearing cotton silk right now? Okay, like. okay, I mean, it's it's not about me, okay? It's, uh, it's about her today. Um, so since but... it's about my day, I think we should <laughs> <laughs> go for a different color, maybe have a more colorful element, since, you know, I still want to keep the traditions going. Since your wedding langa already has pastel flowers, I'm actually going to show you some deeper pink ones. Um, I think that will tie it in a little bit better because I feel like the pastels will just remind you of your wedding linga. Right, right. No, I absolutely agree. So let Mega bring out the next option. It's a beautiful ruby pink. I think traditionally it's very acceptable and it still has the pastel pinks, the sage in the embroidery. So I really like this color and, you know, I know Shrinaket was looking for something that would go with her theme with the pastel colors. So now that you mentioned it, it has some of those elements, um, this definitely is one of the options that I would be willing to try. What do you think, girls? I like the color, but there's too much going on with the lenga. This feels like a proper shadi lenga. But I think we're doing light and fun for the wedding ceremony. So this to me, and I'm glad you said that because it reminds me of Shadi too. So to me, it's like a pre-wedding almost. Like puja ceremonies are pretty big, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, is that is that silk? Yes, okay. it's raw silk. <laughs> oh man, I'm you know I. You and the silk the again. <laughs> Shinikate, I know you're not the biggest fan of silk, but. Indian langas are made on silk for a lot of reasons, and one of them being silk is one of the finest fabrics. Owning a silk langa, it's like luxury. Look, I, I hear you. I, I understand, but I, I still can't get over it. I, I'm, I, I don't agree with you. <laughs> okay. I, I don't. There is this stereotype amongst us that, oh, my mom owns a silk sari, so this is old school. Uh, my mom made me wear a silk langa when I was little, so I don't ever want to wear it again. But there's nothing wrong with silk. It's actually a little bit trivia for everyone. It's considered the finest textile of Indian culture. Shrinikhev has an issue with the fabric. He thinks it's too traditional. I mean, I think he's just too fashion forward and too modern. Silk can be seen uh, as an old school fabric. I think that there are very modern ways to wear it. Silk for me, I, it speaks traditional. And I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing, but because we have the first half of the puja is a traditional portion, I think for the second half, I really wanted something different, something modern. Okay, well, are you willing to try it on? Maybe when you walk out in it and he sees it, it might change his mind. I think that's a good idea. At least let's try it yeah. on, you know? Yeah, let's, let's do that. To see how the material looks on me, and then um, we'll see how it goes from there. Perfect. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Mega's going to bring out the next option. So in Ari, the reason I picked this langa, again, it's silk, but it's a Banarsi silk. So it, it has a different texture. It has these beautiful flowers in it. And then if you look at the border, it still has those multicolor flowers in it. So I really like this color. Um, and I really like that it has the engagement element in a sense that it's not too heavy. It doesn't look like a wedding langa. Mm -hmm. And since this will be my second outfit change for the engagement ceremony, I think this adds perfectly to the addition. Shira, like I was saying, 
I'm, I'm looking for not silk. You know, if there's something else, maybe we could look at that. But like I said, like you were talking about before, maybe, maybe you could try it and, and see where it goes. But um, I would say the color, this, this is definitely a very good color for you. I definitely like this color and I don't mind trying it because I don't mind trying something that is silk and see how it fits me and suits well. And I'm not, I'm not completely loving it, but I, fine, let's. But are you going to be wearing the outfit? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try it on. All right, so let's try the pink outfits on, see how we feel. And then if we're still not happy, we'll look at more options. Yeah. So you can head in the back with Mega and start trying these on. Sure, thank you. So Anari, how do you feel in this langa? So this is a beautiful langa, but it just feels like very heavy. And it feels like it's more of a wedding langa rather than an engagement langa. So I still really like that blush color. It's just perfect. It's elegant, yet simple. There's not much going on. Mm. What do you guys think? Like I was saying before, silk. I, I understand that I'm not winning this battle. <laughs> so I think what I'm seeing here is that this type of silk is it's slightly different than what we initially were seeing with the ivory outfits. I think that's, that's what Sadly, I'm noticing. Sadly, the silk is exactly the same. It's raw silk on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, clearly, I don't know. I don't know anything about I silk. Clearly, You're just, you don't know. You don't know anything about silk. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a color that is uh, changing the, the way it looks, the way the light hits it. Um, it could be a perception, but I'm warming. I'm definitely warming up to the fact something in this range, the color, like I was saying before, is just, it's just, it's just dark on you. Yeah. I think for him, seeing it on you mm -hmm. makes a huge difference Yeah, as opposed to seeing it just on a hanger. Absolutely. Perfect. So we'll skip this one. We'll go try the Banarsi link on. Mary, how do you feel in this lenga? I feel amazing. This is absolutely beautiful, and this was exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> beautiful. What do you girls think? It looks so I love good. it. Yeah, it's amazing. She looks really good in it. I feel um, so comfortable. It's like perfect. It's what exactly what we were looking for. Shrinikat. No, hey, I. You look gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, let's just let's just do the puja now. <laughs> We're done. This is this is amazing. This is it. How do you feel about the silk? I think I now see the the value behind it, um, especially after you've been trying on a few more. Beautiful. So we're all in agreement? Yes. 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 I love it. <laughs> I just want to be sure that you're a hundred percent good with the fabric. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, don't yes, look, look, we have <laughs> After a long witnesses. battle. We have all witnesses here. I am good. Okay. I'm happy. All right. <laughs> well, I've asked you this question before, but I'm going to ask you again. Aneri, are you ready to be a Nusrana bride? Yes, of course. <laughs> hey, Shinikid, how are you doing? Doing well. How are you? Good, good. How's everyone else doing? Good. good. How are you? you? Good. So she brought me up to speed. We're here looking for your wedding outfit, right? Yep. Uh, now, what do you guys have in mind? Uh, do you have any designs or styles in mind? I know we have your outfit here already. Uh, so I'm guessing we're trying to match that. So I think we're trying to bring out some of the contrasting colors in her outfit as some of my main colors for my Shervani. Okay, cool. So I'll pick some options for you and bring them back. Awesome. So guys, what do you think about this one? So I gotta say the cut is very interesting here and I definitely like that and the design isn't you know all over the place. What I would say though is that where you do see the florals, um, it's a bit too much for me. Um, you know, as you can see, and you know, as an area can see, I'm, I'm more simple in what I wear. And then in terms of the color, I think it's more muted. Um, we definitely want to see more of that pop of color. Okay, what color would you like it in? If I remember correctly, like an area's outfit, I think some of her um, fourth or fifth dominant color is more in the ivory tan, so somewhere in that range. I think that's the color that I want to stand out more as my dominant color. Okay. And then use some of her top few colors as sprinkled around the outfit. Got it. Yeah, what do you guys think about this? So I definitely like uh, the floral elements incorporated in this, but I do realize that there's like a lot going on. So you're looking for like a more structured pattern that will go with the dress. And maybe we can like incorporate some of the colors from my dress. And you're okay with like this kind of asymmetry, right? As opposed to it being straight down the middle. I definitely like yeah. the asymmetric pattern. This is something Shunai could. You can see him wearing something yeah. like yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I think another comment I would make is the uh, the border 
on uh, where the flower pattern is on the left side. I think I would definitely want that a bit shorter because, you know, I'm a bit not as tall, I'm a bit shorter. Yeah, I, I feel your pain on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll make sure the height's right on that. We'll take care of that. So now let's see the next options. We'll definitely try this one. Awesome. So I picked this one. I know you wanted something more modern, but like I told you, I wanted to pick something light, something heavy, something medium for you. This is one of the heavier ones that I've picked for you. How do you feel about this? Yeah, so this is this is very heavy. I definitely liked what we saw previously, but what I can say here is the color. Um, that's really what also pops out to me. Uh, this color is something that I think works very well with me and works very well with Aneri's outfit um, and the rest of her. Um, she wants to stick to like a traditional ivory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. With the pop of color of contrasting with all the other elements that we see from her outfit. Sounds good. What about you guys? So I definitely like the color. It definitely contrasts with the dress and we can use and incorporate some of our um, elements from my dress um, into his outfit. Um, but I do understand with what you're saying, you do like a more modern yet traditional um, structure. Um, yeah, I, think I definitely like the color. I think the color will work perfectly. But I think you should try on the straight cut and see how you feel. And, hey, I mean, Shervani is like, usually I'm known for, even for Shervani, like I'm not, like I have to put this above my head. I can't do that with all my hair. And <laughs> it kind of looks like a skirt. So, uh, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what we do. But uh, no, no, I, I, I can't do that. I have to, I have to do something different. I feel like um, you should at least consider trying the straight cut. Like maybe once you are trying different types, you'll understand, you know, whether you like it or not, because it is a big commitment to like asymmetrical designs. It is, I understand, but I, I hear you, but no. I, I just can't. I just can't. Yeah, <laughs> he said no. Nope. I can't see Shrinek wearing that either. You know, when I make a decision, it's mm. it's very tough for me. It's, yeah. I'm making this with my feeling, and my, my feeling <laughs> says that I cannot try this. Okay, so I guess let's pass on this one. Uh, let's see how the next one holds up. Yes, let's do it. So, how do you feel about this one now? What I like about this is the color. The base color is really nice. Also, the way the uh, the flowers are scattered and putting this maybe with the asymmetrical that we were discussing before uh, might make it might make it work. Okay. Would you be willing to try this on because this doesn't have the anarch liquid underneath it, or are uh, you still opposed to trying a straight one off? No, I think I think I could I could try this on. So if you guys are all okay with this, I think uh, we should try this one and the gray one, and then maybe this for the color, and then see if we can combine all of it together. Yep. I think it's best if we piecemeal things together. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. How, how do you feel in the straight cut you're running? So, you know, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the straight cut, but what I do like about this, like we were discussing before, is the color and the pattern. Um, it definitely is more spread out. It's not as uh, packed in, um, not a lot of it. And the color, I think, goes really well with my skin. Um, and, you know, I gotta also say that it feels so comfortable, um, very different, and I think, especially for a wedding that we're gonna have in a warmer climate. Um, it's going to be perfect for us for dancing, for puja, and everything. Yeah, that's why I like, because I, I knew you guys were getting married in the warmer climate. Uh, most of the pieces that I bought out were on raw silk. Oh, and well. oh interesting. Oh, so silk. silk. Is that, is that yeah, I, I had no idea. I mean, I guess, I guess this is why we <laughs> leave it to the experts. Right? <laughs> I had no idea he did not want silk, because if he'd first expressed that he didn't want silk, I wouldn't have pulled out silk outfits. Well, I'm glad you did, uh, but uh, but no, no, I, I really enjoy it. I don't know what you guys have any thoughts. I see the tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely uh, like this pattern a lot. I think this will go with the dress. Okay, so we've established that we like this color. Uh, we'll, look, we'll try the other one on for the cut. We'll see if we like it or not. But because I have you in the right color, do you want to try the Safa Gupata just to see what the full feel of it's going to be like? No, 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 definitely, definitely not. It's not, it's not my thing. Okay. Um, I, I just can't, I just can't do it. Okay. But I think you should at least try it because all the grooms have a Safa Dupata, which is a pagri basically, right? Yeah. But I'm telling you, I'm not going to look good. Well, why don't you just try it on, see if you like it or not. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's okay. do that. Doesn't let me, hurt. Yeah. Let me, let me get this Safa Dupata for you. 
So I got you a silk saffron silk dupatta. <laughs> so don't bend down, just look at me. That, yeah, much better. It looks really good. My head's already getting a little heavy. <laughs> Is it from the silk? <laughs> <laughs> you look like royalty. How do you feel on this now? No, I, I really can't. It's, uh, it looks really good though. It's just not my it's just not my style. So you like the dupatta at least? Yeah, for sure. The dupatta feels feels awesome. I like that loyalty that as they were mentioning before. I like the dupatta and the pogri. I think you should, you know, really consider this, you know, because you're getting married only once. So any anybody else? I agree with her. It looks really good and you should wear. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know and what then, you guys uh, think. I I think I'm a 50-50 on the party, but I see where an area is coming from. Like you only get married once, it's tradition. Well, I guess I guess we'll sleep on it. So sleep on it, but here are my two points for it. One is A, we're not very short. The party gives us some height, so it's it's great to have that. Hey, that's true. I didn't <laughs> think about that. That's true. <laughs> and the the second is sometimes it looks silly by itself, but when you're there like with the entire bridal party. It definitely makes you stand out. Uh, I'll sleep on it. I'm not not making any promises. So I think the colors established. We definitely want to do the dupatta. Yeah. Uh, now let's let's see the cut. See if you actually like it, uh, and then we'll go from there. Let's do it. Right. I don't know. It's uh, it's tough to say, but I think I think between you and me, I don't think it's happening. So Shrinkita, are we still liking this cut? Yeah, I, I love this cut a lot. Okay. I think the way it's done, it, it gives that taper, slim feel, or a perception of that, and I, I love the way that's done. I, I enjoy the material. <laughs> Don't say it. But overall, I, I, the style, um, I really enjoy it. Do we all like this? I really yeah. love I like the cut. cut, yeah. So I had, in the meantime, I had makeup prep on Aries outfit, so she can bring it out, and then we can talk about the changes that we want so we can fully figure out what your Shivani is going to look like. Let's do it. So who's seeing an Aries outfit for the first time? Yeah. I think all of us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've had a few conversations. You've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. But I don't think no, any of no. us have. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, it looks really so good. I'm so excited to wear it. Yeah, it's beautiful. So we like the ivory base. We like this cut. We'll spread out the floral pattern. Um, and then we'll add her two secondary colors on your outfit. Yeah. Um, and then for me, this is kind of simple for the groom. I know you're not going for something too heavy, but what I would suggest is adding some of her bling. So we just add some of her stonework on where your collar is, where the border is in the bottom, um, and I think that'll be a nice touch on the ivory base. Yep. Yeah, keeping a little bit of the bling I think makes a lot of sense. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think it looks great. great. It looks yeah. good. Maybe consider the the pagodi. No, no, no. We'll, uh, we'll, I'll sleep on it. I'll sleep on it. Sounds good, Sushinka. Do we have your wedding outfit? Yes, I'm very excited to see it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, you know, in the end, uh, I do realize how valuable and how traditional and the loyalty and my my Shervani is made out of silk and it's very comfortable, great for the weather. I'm now team silk moving forward. So I'm very excited to wear all the outfits, all the colors and the flow is coming together. And I'm so happy being a Nazrana bride and everything went very smoothly. I personally have a feeling that I'm going to cry when I see an Aerie walk down that aisle. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. If you like this video, please hit like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Nazrana Diaries.